Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go full on force with this. I pulled out so many cards for each of these piles. And we're going to see, will I meet somebody soon? This is for singles only. So if you're in a relationship, this probably won't apply. But, you know, feel free to watch if you want to. Um, <coughs> I have a frog in my throat. But feel free to watch if you want to. So this is for singles. And we're going to see what's coming for you in love. We're going to specify it more towards May 2019. But we're going to see what else is coming anyway. So basically is will i meet somebody soon let's see so please choose group number one two three four or five and we're just going to get started so let's start with group number one okay so group number one hi guys thank you so much for clicking on this video let's see will you meet someone soon for may and for singles and it's basically just any month anyway but it just depends if you click on this video and it's not may time then that's totally fine we'll just see what's coming up for you so let's see, will I meet someone soon? So we have very soon. There we go. <laughs> um, you deserve love. We also have take time out, reclaim your power, ten of cups, gorgeous, a new dawn, miracle healing, and we also have talk to your angels. So I actually get in the word perfect. So perfect timing is coming right into play here. We also have miracle healing. So there's definitely something that's coming in very, very strongly. I feel like the fact we got very soon is literally like absolutely perfect. We got very soon and a 10 of cups right next to each other. So I actually feel like you guys are going to meet someone extremely soon, which is great. Um, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to meet, have a time frame for this. Probably about a month to two months is when you're going to meet this person. Um, so basically this is somebody, I feel, like, I feel like you're actually talking to your angels as well. It says instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance. So I feel like you guys are actually worrying whether you're going to meet this person or not. And basically they're telling me to say that you're not, don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> you're going to be meeting someone soon. And um, I feel like this person could also be a water sign as well. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, I'm going to see what else was coming through as well. I feel like this person could also have earth sign in their chart. Someone who's very grounded. I feel that you need to reclaim your power and take time out. It's very important for you to advance yourself, they're telling me, advance yourself and to make sure you're putting time in for yourself and to make sure you're really putting in the time towards yourself. So basically, you you guys are going to have such a good time in the next couple of months. I feel like in May for sure, I feel like it's going to be a really good time. I actually feel like you could be in a relationship in May. You are going towards somebody who really, really loves you i feel like there could be a new there's definitely a new opening for you guys there's something that's opening and it's going to open up a new opportunity for you with miracle healing i'm really focusing on the doves who are going towards the earth and the woman is moving towards the earth so i feel like you guys are really kind of moving towards a time that's just going to really suit you it's basically a time where you are healing yourself and it's it's just all really really good i just love this so much i think it's just so amazing so basically the fact that we got very soon <laughs> is just amazing so you're gonna be meeting somebody who's really gonna be invested in you and yeah the fact that we've got ten of cups is absolutely amazing the fact that we've got this like straight off group number one very soon bish bash bosh don't feel like I actually need to say much um i want to pull another um romance angel card i feel like this person could be a pisces i'm getting cancer and pisces or scorpio um, Earth signs could also be Virgus, Virgus, <gasps> wow, <laughs> Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. I'm not really seeing any fire signs. Maybe an air sign, but I'm not really seeing any fire signs here. Reconciliation. Fuck yes. Sorry for my swearing, but I'm getting very excited. <laughs> so we've got reconciliation. So I feel like if somebody could be coming from the past somebody is coming back from the past i feel like this could be also a past life lover someone who you have known in the past in a past life someone i feel like is or could be your twin flame or a soulmate someone from your past is returning to your life so i feel like somebody i feel like you guys could be having um separation and this person is going to go towards you with their arrow of love <laughs> um but basically like a message i'm getting communication so 444 i feel like it's very significant significant for you and a number nine basically 
everything is coming into play here really really nicely i love the fact that it says new dawn the worst is now behind you and positive new experiences are on the horizon you guys have got such a good group i am so happy for you guys i feel like you guys are really going to go towards something amazing i want to pull another tarot card just to see what else uh what else please So yeah, there's the offering right there. I feel like you've been very like, not I want to say picky, but in a really good way. I feel like you've been particular about who you want to enter into your life. And you want someone who's really, really good and you're not accepting anyone who isn't suited for you anymore. I feel like you've done that a lot of the times. I feel like in the past, I feel like you've gone through quite a few people or you've gone through experiences that have really been toxic. Um, and I feel like you guys are moving into something really amazing. And there we go. We've got the Page of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. So gorgeous. Very foundational, um relationship here so in answer to the question will you meet someone soon yes you will meet someone very very soon i'm definitely getting the word pisces so someone is very emotionally invested in you and they could also just be a pisces i actually see it and i didn't say it did i say fire signs because i'm actually seeing like an aries now i'm seeing the word aries so i'm not sure what that's about but um but yeah i feel like i need to pull out one more um one more card for the can we get another, any more information on this person? Obviously, it's, it's, this is we are connecting to, please. Thank you very much. I'm definitely getting fire signs coming in now, but I definitely feel like 100% sure that it could be a water sign. Um, pretty sure. So we've also got rebirth is assured and believe in yourself. So yeah, it's just kind of believing yourself that it's all coming into fruition. And we also got underneath, we also have sweet results await which is so so nice i love that so much um i love the fact we've got a rebirth which is short and believe in yourself both at the same time and we both have number five as well here but didn't i say five 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 four no four four um but both of them are very earthy um but earth vibes so i definitely feel like you are going through an earthy time as well you're making sure you're grounding yourself you are kind of coming i'm seeing like a seed and it's like vibrating and it's kind of like about to burst and come up through the ground and absolutely um destroy the earth and kind of go through a big process and come out a beautiful human being so that's kind of what it is but i just love the fact that we've got new experiences are on the horizon so i feel like you've gone through quite a lot i feel like you could have gone through quite a lot with this person as well i feel like there could be a lack of communication i'm seeing the word lack and kind of results so i feel like it could be a lack of results but now it's kind of like you're coming into a more positive situation so which is amazing i love the fact that we've got all these positive cards it's definitely going to be somebody who's going to communicate to you a um option they're going to give you an option someone who's very financially stable or has been working on their finances um in separation from you if you don't know this person basically all the other things that i've said are gonna like refer to you um so if you don't know this person there is going to be somebody who's going to be offering you somebody so there's going to be somebody who's going to be offering you something well wow. My speech is very confused today. <laughs> I'm just very confused. The energy is confusing today. So, but yeah, so this is amazing. Um, and I just feel really good about this. So will you meet someone soon? Yes, you definitely will. Someone very soon. Very soon. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm definitely seeing um, in probably in May, June time. Yeah, for sure. May, probably for like 75% of you is going to meet somebody in May. Um, but yeah, so thank you for watching guys. If you like this reading, then please give it a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you would like to. My name is Crystal Girl. I do personalised readings, so my information is right here on the screen now. So if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, then feel free. I'm always doing sales and stuff. So if you're interested in a sale or anything like that, then look down below. All the information will be down below and I wish you guys so much luck and I wish you guys so much happiness and love and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye guys. Hello group number two. Let's see, will you meet someone soon? I'd say this could be May as well, but it's mainly for singles or so. It doesn't have to be around May, but it's mainly around May. So let's see. Let yourself receive. Gorgeous. Love that. We also have career change, attraction, give your relationship a chance. Okay. Then we also have, oh, the tower. Hello. Okay. <laughs> we have the tower and queen of cups is this in reverse i think it could be in reverse but i think it also could be like upwards they're telling me 50 50 okay right we'll put it up we'll put it that way for now and then we'll be able to see what's going on so right okay this is very very interesting i really like this actually because this is really like intense i love intensity being a scorpio love the intensity <laughs> 
So we have stand your ground, that's going to go here, stand your ground, vacation, and problem resolved. Okay, perfect. So you guys are have, have gone through or are going through a major, major shift, which is going to bring you on the path towards this person. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I feel like you guys have gone through an intense stinging, like um, a very literally the word to describe this this reading is intensity it's just it's very very deep ripping of the external kind of crap that you don't want anymore it's really going in so deep really really deep into the depths of hell and coming back out again but this is a really really good thing because it's like i'm also getting why hell but it's not really hell it feels like because it's an um, awakening it's not hell but it's like you have to go really deep in there oops <laughs> really deep in there to kind of get out and move through all the stuff that you haven't moved so basically you're going to go through a career change you're embarking upon a career that brings you joy and abundance you desire and deserve so i'm getting like a really like fun vibe from this i know it's intense but i'm getting a really fun vibe because i feel like this is a very new I'm getting the word entertainment. I'm feeling like you guys are being entertained by the universe because there's so much weird stuff going on at the moment. Um, but I feel like you guys will meet someone soon, but I feel like you need to work through this process first because I feel like you could be working through this process now or you've worked through this process and you're now dealing with some emotions that are coming up. With the Queen of Cups in reverse, I feel like it could be just an internal struggle of kind of figuring out... Just trying to have a little look into this um I'm, they're trying to they're telling me picking out emotions i'm getting like um i don't know if you guys have this but in england we have a pick and mix sweets so they have like sweets and they're all in different boxes and you have a bag and you pick from the sweets and i feel like this is you but emotional so i feel like you're actually picking out emotions um and dealing is kind of like um i don't know how to explain this so what gives you prosperity they're telling me um they're picking okay right they're telling me to pick out the right emotions that are actually your emotions and they're not an influence of other people so it's like taking hold of the emotions for your journey and using them to your best ability so basically it's it's kind of like it's not taking hold of the emotions because i feel like that's too aggressive i feel like it's just kind of stay up uh, stabilizing your emotions stabilizing and kind of making sure you're not like this and more like this. I feel like you could be falling. I feel like I'm getting a sense of falling onto this boat and then it rocks and then it kind of stable itself out after a while. So I feel like this is kind of you as well. You're kind of just trying to stabilize yourself because basically I feel like once you go through emotional an emotional state, it's kind of like you're doing this now, you're kind of balancing out. And once you've kind of got this more sense of balance, there's going to be more emotional stability. And I feel like this is going to... Right, it's also you're deciding what you want out of a relationship and how you're going to interact with a person. Because they're telling me, once you dis once you discover your emotions, you're figuring out how to love as well. In a way, you want to be loved. I feel like you're figuring out kind of how to be loved um, and how you want to be loved. And once you figure that out, that person is going to come in because they're you're going to know how to interact with this person better um and yeah it just feels really really nice i'm getting like a baby coming out of like an egg like a little baby bird and they're coming out of an egg and they're just kind of learning how to how to live and how to work out what life is i feel like that's what, what you're going through right now you're learning how to how to deal with these new things that are coming up because i feel like a lot of you are spiritually awakened and it's kind of messing with your balance basically um but Will you meet someone soon? I wouldn't say soon. I'd probably say in about, I'm getting the number five. So it could be five months, five weeks, five days. I don't think five days, I think that's too soon, but maybe, I don't know. But that's kind of what I'm getting. There's a pigeon walking on the roof right now. <laughs> like if you can hear someone walking on the roof, it's a pigeon. Um, <laughs> so I definitely feel like you guys are just going through a major change at the moment. So I feel like you guys, I know this is not something you want to hear, but I feel like you guys need to work on your own self. Oh my god, this pigeon is so loud. <laughs> Dude, get off my roof. Um, so yeah, um, you're attracting someone emotionally, so I feel like you need to work on your own, as I say, your own emotions and how you love. And then it's just basically like, once you figure this out, you're going to be like this attractive, really attractive person. And I'm not saying you weren't attractive before, it's like basically like you, you know yourself, it's like you know yourself. And then you know how to deal with a situation because i feel like 
And getting the words like you want a relationship, but I feel like once you're in it, it's going to be a completely different experience. So it's like you need to prepare yourself first before you get on the train of a relationship, they're telling me. So it's like preparation is key because it's also give your relationship a chance. It's basically like, I feel like this is actually working on yourself, which is kind of shitty because I know this is like a singles reading and you want someone. But this is definitely working more on yourself because you're giving yourself a chance to figure out what you really want. So, okay, so what about after they've given their relationship a chance? I feel like it could be somebody who you're giving it a chance to as well. And it's also letting yourself receive. Allow others to give you love and care. Receive without guilt or apology. So it's definitely working on your confidence and your emotional stability. But this problem is becoming resolved because I love how it's right next to the Queen of Cups. So it's definitely connected to this emotional state and figuring out what you want. So we also have engagement, yeah. So definitely there's someone coming through who's gonna offer you some sort of stability, but I don't feel like it's not gonna be for a little while yet. So it's not gonna be soon, it depends how you say soon really. I mean, I'm gonna in like two to five months, but it could be even like a year. I know this is like, I'm getting like emotional now because I feel like you guys are gonna be like, oh, but this is so long. But to be fair, this doesn't always have to be like this. This is just kind of what I'm seeing. I just feel like you guys are going through an intense change. I actually feel like a lot of you are going to travel and that's going to help you to find this person as well. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So I definitely feel like you guys are really sorting out something. Okay, keep an open mind. So your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So I actually feel like this could be connected to the give your relationship a chance. I feel like there's somebody who you're not too sure about and you're thinking, oh, like f that out. i don't want to be with that person but actually this could be a really good person obviously if it doesn't feel right then don't do it but um so yeah let's see let's get a clarifier on the queen of cups please can i get a clarifier on the queen of cups oh hello the sun gorgeous reconciliation i'm seeing um with somebody who you already know it's just it's all going to come together guys and you're moving away from loads of shit and you're moving towards something really, really good. You're moving towards emotional stability. And just, yeah, just keeping an open mind. And there's stuff that's on the horizon where you are going to be fulfilled. Um, it's all there for you. It's just coming in. It's just, they're saying it's coming, it's coming. Don't worry, don't worry, it's coming. Because um, they're kind of like pat patting, they're patting this. I'm seeing the patting. It's like, it's okay, it's okay, don't worry, don't worry. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so can we get one more card from the Animal Oracle deck? Let's just see more insight on this person and the situation. Embrace the in-between. There you go. That's kind of what you're doing at the moment, guys. You can do it. I have faith in you and I'm um, sending you lots of love. So thank you for watching. Um, if this resonated with you, then please let me know. Um, yeah, I'm sorry this isn't what you wanted to hear, but you are, you are going forward. You are going forward towards the sun. It's amazing. So don't worry, guys. So feel free to subscribe to my channel. Also, and by the way, what I just saw was this flamingo has got like jewels on its face, which is really strange. But I'm kind of getting like jewels and you're like lavishing yourself. So really like take care of yourself, guys. Like really kind of like focus on what you really want. And also like treat yourself as well. Treat yourself to like, even if it's something like not really that expensive, just treat yourself. Because I feel like it's going to be really important for you and your happiness. Um, yeah. Just lavish yourself. Self-care is very, very important. Um, yeah, deep emotional self-care and also um, physical self-care is very, very important. So, that's what I'm seeing. Anyway, moving on. So, thank you for watching. Please comment down below, subscribe. And also, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, um, book a private reading with me, the information is on the screen now. And I will see you all very, very soon. Bye. Three, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's see, will you meet someone soon? Let's have a look. Let go of control issues, creative expression, fox spirit, think on your feet, knight of cups, gorgeous, the lovers, hello, this, this is beautiful, I love this, empowerment and follow your dreams. So this is someone, oh my god, this person I feel like is really like, emotionally stable. You guys have been really working on your emotions as well, so it's reflecting back to you. Um, follow your dreams and become empowered in those dreams as in like really feel into those dreams and kind of figure out what you really want I feel like you guys are going towards a creative expression or this is going to help you to um, Dig out some deep stuff that's going on because we've got let go of control issues 
allow this situation to unfold naturally. And because you've got creative expression right next to it, there's going to be, I feel like, an epiphany you're going to have when you're being creative. Um, that's going to help you to figure out when this person is coming. I feel like this person is coming in soon. Just keep working on this creative expression because this is very, very important. It helps you also in a, um, a sexual way as well. It helps you to get out that kind of... Um, maybe the urge of like having a partner and wanting someone there I feel like this is very helpful because it's nurturing to you it's nurturing to your soul and the fact that we've got the lovers in the night of cups is like holy crap wow so I feel like you could be connecting with a Taurus and getting Taurus, Virgo, Pisces, Leo, Sagittarius and Capricorn so those could be the people that you may be connecting with but also getting a lot of fire signs here so will you meet someone soon? I'm pretty much saying yes. I'm getting the number three. So you could meet somebody in maybe three months, three days, three weeks. Uh, it doesn't have to be, but that's kind of the number that I'm getting. I also see the number three is kind of like a number that's very suited to you. I feel like three could be your lucky number or like a number that you're going to be seeing. So I feel like you're kind of like, I feel like I'm really looking at the lovers because there's like a, I've never noticed, but there's like a mountain behind the lovers. So I feel like you guys are really like looking into kind of moving forward up and up and what's, what is the thing here? Up and over is what we're seeing. So I feel like you guys are kind of going up this mountain. I feel like you need to let go of the control issues or somebody who you're connecting with needs to let go of their control issues because I feel like it's kind of going up to a peak. And I feel like once you get to this peak, it's all just going to be, woo, going to be amazing for you. So I feel like there's just amazing opportunities here. There's an opportunity of love. Someone who's going to come in to love you. So, okay. So can we um, clarify the Knight of Cups with the Romance Angels deck, please? Please tell me more about this person. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So I feel like it could be a lot of negative thinking. I feel like this is just kind of normal though when you're single. Sometimes you just think for F's sake. I just want to be in a relationship. Um, <laughs> I get like quite an angry vibe. But it's also like there is some sort of stability. Also there could be, you could be connected with a Gemini as well. It says you're more powerful than you realise. It's safe for you to be powerful. So there you go. So just be independent. It's also not letting someone press you down and make you feel small is what I'm getting. Um, because I feel like you're, you're being empowered is going to really, really help you on this journey to empowerment, <laughs> basically. Um, very soon. There you go, guys. <laughs> will you meet someone soon? Yes, you will meet someone very soon. <laughs> That's amazing. I really love that. What I think is what I think is amazing for you guys is number one, I had this card and I always put my cards back after they've been in a pile because sometimes they can relate to other groups. Yes, very soon because this is like, I literally just asked if you heard me, what does this... Yeah, if, if you have what I said, I said, the water just relates to this Knight of Cups and the Lovers we have very soon. Bitch, go for it. <laughs> There's somebody who is coming in and offering you an offering as well. It might take a little bit longer than what you're actually thinking, uh, which kind of sucks. They're telling me, which kind of sucks. I know it sucks, <laughs> but it's going to be okay. And I also think on your feet, I feel like, what is this thing on your feet? Uh, trust your intuition they're telling me trust um your vibes trust trust the vibes that you get off somebody as to know whether they're the right person or not i'm seeing someone who has very intense eyes i'm getting um blue eyes and green eyes someone who has very piercing eyes but really really nice eyes someone who looks into your soul and with the fox spirit there the fox has really really nice intense eyes so we'll start to see the big picture and life is speeding up. So it's all really, really good for you guys. And if you feel like there's an air and... Sorry, I need your throat. <laughs> so I feel like you guys are really focusing on moving forward. Life is speeding up for you 100%. There is somebody who is embodying an air, um, an air sign. Well, maybe an air sign and a fire sign. Because there's someone who's going towards you really, really quickly. I feel like you could actually make an offering to this person before they offer to you. Or you could kind of think, are they going to offer to me? Are they going to offer to me? And then they will. So I feel like your intuition is very, very strong. I feel like your third eye is very, very strong because I'm seeing the colour blue. And I associate that with the third eye. I'm not sure if that is actually the colour. But yeah, I'm seeing like a dark blue. So 
I can see you're really looking forward. So yeah, this that in answer to your question, will I meet someone soon? Yes, you will meet someone very, very soon. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to comment down below if this resonated. If it didn't resonate, then let it fly. Um, also, if you'd like to book a private, private reading with me, all the information is here on the screen now and also in the description as to what I offer. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, my name is Krista Girl. I love you very, 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 very much. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello group number four. Let's see what you guys got for Will I Meet Someone Soon? Okay, so start with the Romance Angels. We have Past Life Relationship and Romantic Feelings. We also have Contemplation Time. Nutrition. Time to Heal. Be Fearless and Bold. We have the Seven of Wands and the Moon. And then, oh, I'm running out of space. <laughs> I'm running out of space. We also have the look inside yourself, laughter, and environmental awareness. So, okie dokie. Right, I feel like this, I'm actually connected to the person who you're going to be with. This person's going through a lot of um, intense emotions at the moment. And I feel like you could actually be fighting off people because I feel like you've been emotionally hurt in the past. Because I feel like there's a lot of underlying emotions that you haven't really resolved yet. Sorry. Nose. Oh. Um, it could be a lot of underlying emotions that you haven't really resolved yet but will you meet someone soon I'm pretty sure you will because it's got past life relationship here you have known each other before so maybe not soon soon but maybe I feel like for some of you it is soon but for some of you it might not be because I feel like it could be a little bit of underlying emotions that you could be dealing with but this could also be the other person We've also got to look inside yourself as well and contemplation time. Spend time alone meditating upon what you truly desire. So I feel like you guys, I feel like the universe is telling me, like the universe, spirit, guys, everything, and angels, they're all giving me the word time. Take your time. They're telling me you need to take your time with this because you'll know who this is, basically. So there's literally no need to worry. And there's also going to be a lot of romantic feelings here. So let's see what's going to happen after the, um, oh, hello. <laughs> I said after the moon, we've got the Empress, which is really lovely. What else, please? The Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles? Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, sorry. Nine of Pentacles and... The Hierophant, gorgeous. So someone who's gonna settle down with you, someone who really wants to commit to you. We also have you conduct healing work with your culinary skills. So this could be somebody who is very fit, as in like they've worked on themselves um, physically. Someone who is like really into nutrition, someone who is exercises. Um, this could also be you. You're also working on your physical appearance. And I feel like you guys are really kind of healing the emotional past at the moment because we've got time to heal and then we've got to be fearless and bold. So I feel like you guys, this is like hermit mode to me, I'm feeling. And we've got five, five and four. So those could be numbers you see when you meet this person. I love the fact that we've got time to heal, contemplation time, look inside yourself. And both of these two are very similar colours. So I feel like you guys are really getting earthy into yourself. Really kind of getting into the nitty gritty of how you really feel. I feel like you guys have gone through quite a very slow... Um, what's the word? <clears throat> a very slow time in your life. Where there's been a period of basically no one coming in. And I feel like this has kind of made you feel really crap. And kind of put people at a distance but I feel like things are going to start coming up now and I feel like you're stripping away all the crap and it's also <clears throat> excuse me because you're coming into a more um pivotal kind of new sensitive time sensitive that's the right word thank you sensitive time once you come out of that it's also like it's almost like you're coming out of hermit mode and into the empress so basically it's conjuring up from what you've learned from this experience of being single and to just kind of laugh about it because you will meet somebody who makes you laugh and makes you feel really good and it's also just to be aware of how you um treat yourself as well and how you treat your environment is your is your environment quite messy do you feel comfortable in your environment do you treat yourself like do you treat your body as a temple with the same respect as you would with somebody else so it's just thinking about things like that they're telling me these are things that are literally all coming from my intuition that literally came through so easily literally this is what the new intuition is about it's just making sure that you're just kind of nurturing your body and um, this is very very important 
because I feel like this past life relationship could take a little bit of time to come through but they're coming through really well and I feel like this person knows you they know who you are so you could actually know this person already or it's just going to be someone who you're going to reconcile with someone who's um it could be a soulmate or a twin flame and we also got true love which is so nice this person is seeing you and they that you're basically telling them or they can sense how much pain you've gone through in the past how much how much work you've had to put in with yourself and they're seeing that and they're thinking oh holy crap i need to do this person because they've really worked on themselves and i've worked on myself and now let's really get together and just kind of be together so this is the romance of a lifetime your love life is influenced by your spiritual upbringing and spiritual path so yeah it's just meeting someone in the middle someone he somebody who's very similar to you i feel like this person could be mirroring you as well so if you're going through a tough time of kind of on getting that drought to do your romance life it's not going to be like that forever um your cup is starting to fill up and um yeah it's, it's all starting to fill up emotionally there's a lot of good stuff coming through um, okay so i want this card and i want this card so yeah it's just stay optimistic about your love life it's all coming through and it's also just make the effort once this person comes in just do what you feel the intuition is telling you to do and you also go underneath love yourself first so there we go so i hope so basically you ask the question will I meet someone soon yes you will but it could be could be a little bit more time than you think so thank you so much for watching also i'm sorry if that's not what we want to hear but that's what i'm getting so you could also pick another pile if you don't feel like this resonates with you so thank you so much for watching um i also one more thing that i'm getting i feel like this person could have blue eyes or someone who's very strong eyes i'm getting the color blue for sure so yeah somebody who's got blue eyes and someone who's got very intense eyes which is amazing i'm definitely feeling like scorpio energy here scorpio is quite intense um we've also got earth energy and fire maybe air but i'm not too sure about that so thank you so so much for watching um if it's resonated with you then let me know in the comments and also seeing water signs as well okay that's enough Vicky. <laughs> that's enough messages so thank you for watching please subscribe if you would like to and i also do personal readings my information is right here on screen i also all the information is down below as to what i offer thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all very very soon bye hello group number five thank you so much for clicking on this video let's see will i meet someone soon let's have a look shall we so starting off with the romance angel cards we have worth waiting for and forgiving and learning divine timing is at work in your love life as you release and heal the past you experience more love in the present moments wait make a decision music author freedom is yours four of pentacles high priestess dreams coming true let's see if I can fit all these in let's move these up a little bit body movement and rise by problems right okay so there's a lot of energy coming in here will you meet someone soon i feel like not very soon because i feel like you still need to wait on this person there's still a couple of levels i feel like you haven't engaged in yet in your life to actually get to this person but your dreams are coming true and you're rising by problems so i feel like once you've reached this certain freedom i'm not sure what that is could be emotional freedom could be letting go of a certain element in your life that's been tying you down and you're trying to forgive and learn the past i feel like once you do that it's all going to come into play and we have number three three so um it definitely is kind of coming together it's a time when you're really like coming together really nicely so you also have wait don't rush into action right now bide your time for better results make a decision feeling stuck or indecisive listen to your intuition and make a decision so i definitely feel like this is going to be a little bit more time than what you're what you're kind of thinking but it's all worth it so we also have body movement so it's also making sure that you are engaging in your body be in your body i feel like this i feel like i'm relating to this there's a lot of head stuff going on a lot of um things you're basically like overthinking i'm getting a little bit of anxiety towards this because i feel like oh my god i'm going to be alone forever what the hell i don't want to be alone forever i don't want to be alone i don't want to not be with anybody i want to actually be with somebody where is my person i feel like this all these things could be solved by just really focusing on your body obviously not all the things could be solved but this is going to really help is to just distract your mind um, and also it's not so much a distraction 
more as a focus because you're actually engaging more in your body and you're letting your body move and kind of release and getting the word release coming through as well so basically i feel like you guys are going through some sort of process or you're going to be going through a process so i've got author you have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed make the time to write it music your connection to music is healing for yourself and others so i feel like you could actually there's definitely for this i feel like you're like a teacher and you're almost like teaching yourself and learning from your I don't want to say mistakes, but I'm getting mistakes past learning because you've got forgiving and learning. So I definitely feel like you're learning through what's actually been happening. And I feel like you guys could have actually gone through a breakup recently, for, just for some of you, not for all of you. It's just by taking the time because you're going to be rising above problems. It is going to be a time when you're really rising above the things that are going on now. It's just going to be a time when you're really forgiving and learning the past so you're going to be rising above that and once you rise above all those problems your freedom is yours i'm not sure what this problem is i think it could be maybe to do with a little bit of codependency but i'm not too sure um i feel like this just could be maybe as i say a breakup it could just be letting go of somebody i think i'm getting an x in here um but it's also just could be emotional pain that you've gone through so what is this forgiving and learning please Okay, so we've got the two of wands. Lovers. And the five of swords. So I definitely feel like this could be somebody who has deceived you. Um, this could be somebody who is a little bit two-faced as well. Um, but it's also learning from how... It's learning how to love as well. How to love yourself. How to love others. How, they're telling me your love language so if you don't know what your love language is it's really good to look into because it's it's definitely especially if you are a gemini because i know that gemini's like to engage in anything that's to do with um like puzzles and quizzes and engaging their brain um in more of like a in a problem solving way so i definitely feel like you should look into your love language i feel that's going to really help because it's going to help you to figure out how you love and how you want to be loved because this is very very important um, music as well it has your connection to music is healing for yourself and others so also to listen to music i feel like listening to music while you're working on yourself and moving your body is very very important um so with the high priestess i want to see what the high priestess is here just to see what any other information i feel like i want to pull oh, another romance angel card give your relationship a chance work on your partnership I feel like this just could just be to do with yourself, like a relationship to you with yourself. Working on how you want to love. Ask yourself, how do I want to be loved? How how would I feel if someone loved me in this way? And it's also creating a castle for yourself. It's like I've never noticed there's a castle right here in the corner. So I feel like it's creating a space for yourself that's safe and then it's allowing somebody to come in really, really nicely who suits you and who fits really well into all the boxes. I'm not saying boxes in a passive way, but someone who really fits the way you want to be loved so we also have chemistry and passion so yeah it's going to be as i say someone who knows how to love you someone who really really suits you so basically let's see there's someone who um is going to be very stable i feel like also to kind of express your love express how you feel to people be communicative if that's the right word communicative about how you feel because your dreams are coming true, but I feel like it could be a little bit of stuck, something stuck around your heart space. I feel like maybe you could work on your heart chakra as well if you feel that's necessary. Um, there's a little bit of stuck energy. To me, I feel like the Four of Pentacles is normally a positive card, but to me, I feel like now it's almost like you're holding in too much to yourself and it's like you're not really giving enough to somebody else. So let's see what else is here, please. What is this Four of Pentacles doing here, please? So we have the ten of wands and a two of swords so yeah it's really kind of deciding how you want to move forward because you've been trudging along on the same path and feeling the same way for quite a long time and it's been very restricting for you so will you meet someone soon i feel like once you've moved into a space of knowing how you want to be loved i feel like it could be a chance to actually reconcile with somebody and i'm also getting the chance to um also reconcile yourself because as a, uh, when, when, what I mean by that is there's past energy that I feel like you haven't dealt with yet and it's going to suddenly come up and you're going to be like oh what is this but it's going to be really really good because once you re release this stuff that's kind of behind you freedom is yours and you're going to meet this person very very soon so I really hope this resonated with you 
Uh, make sure to just wait and kind of be patient. It's going to be okay. Someone is coming in. Just need to wait a little bit longer. Maybe it's just a little bit longer than what you think. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry that's not what you want to hear. But also you can pick another pile or let it fly if it doesn't resonate. It doesn't always have to resonate with every single person. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a big thumbs up. Uh, thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below. And also if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, my name is Acrista Girl. Thank you so much for being here. And also if you'd like to book a private reading with me, all the information is down below and on the screen here. The information down below of what I offer is in the description box and also all the information on how to connect with me is on the screen now. So thank you so much for watching um, and the person's coming very soon, just be very patient. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye!